Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys from Diamond Art Studio UK and this is one of their new releases by the artist Hell Choreo and it caught my eye immediately. I've completed a kit from them and this artist in the past called Outside the Sweet Shop that I loved the experience of working on and we'll have uh, links below for the unboxing and post review of that particular kit but yeah this one caught my eye immediately and I yeah we got to get into it and take a look at it together today it's been sitting for a minute and I <laughs> I can't believe I haven't gotten into it yet so um they ship out their kits they do ship worldwide they live in the United States and uh, they do have, I don't know if it's flat rate shipping or it's, it's really, honestly, it's discounted shipping for what they pay. It is expensive. I will not, you know, try to say that it's not, I want to say it was around 30 us dollars, um, ish. <laughs> and what I end up doing typically is buying more than one kit from them. So it sort of spreads out the cost of shipping per kit that way. And I've, you know, that's just how I tend to go with it. So they, they ship them out and um, once you open up the packaging, you've got these like nice like brown wrap paper boxes with the purple bow. Kind of the purple is really their signature here. And it's just a nice little experience. They've got a little thank you for your purchase. There's their business card. And hey, if you're in the UK, I'm sure that the shipping is much more doable. And so for my UK or international uh, followers, hopefully that helps a bit. But um, I haven't really had issues with anything coming dented or you know squished or anything like that. So let's, let's take a look though. So here is the box. Again, purple everything for them. Uh, there's some info on the box here. That's the lighting, that rainbow effect, <laughs> like hello effect. Um, about what comes with it, Diamond Art Studio, and okay, here they wrote some instructions on the box. Here is the website and their socials. They have a really nice active kind of Facebook page and group that I'll have linked below too. And then here is the image we're going to be looking at today, you guys. Look at those colors. All right, let's open this up. I want to get a look at this canvas. I am just right in this very moment, even though I looked this up right before, I'm blanking on the name of this canvas, of this artwork, but I'm going to be able to tell you here in just a moment. So, oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous kit. City Streets in the Snow. That is the name of this kit. City Streets in the Snow. I love it. This is such an, uh, a nice, like littler size. Um, this is 60 by 60. It just feels more manageable. <laughs> it feels a little smaller. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the snow coming down from the sky and everything. All right, let me show you what was included. We do have our diamonds, which there's a little sneak peek of the colors. We will look at those more closely in just a bit. First, I want to show you what's in here. You know what? I decided to forego the toolkit. Toolkits are optional from this company, and I have plenty, but you absolutely can get a toolkit with your kit. Um, and I don't think they, I don't think they charge extra for their, their, their toolkits if you want to get one, but they, I like that they offer the option to not get one because, you know, it's craft that's hard to avoid plastic waste, but any, any little thing helps. So we do have a couple of these. These are sticker sheets, you guys. We get to take a look at the original artwork. There's City Streets in the Snow by Hel Corio. And the artwork that Diamond Art Studio UK has from this artist sells out so fast. So incredibly fast. So I believe this one is probably sold out at the moment, but I recommend following them on their socials to stay up to date with when they're going to be doing restocks. Uh, Facebook in particular seems to be the, the best place to check for that. But anyway, um, over here, these are a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So if you go to kit up your diamonds into storage containers, or even if you use the resealable bags that came with this kit, you can also label the diamonds with these uh, stickers and that will help a lot. The right hand column, this is the DMC color code system, which most diamond painting companies do use. And then uh, Diamond Art Studio UK does include some special drills. Looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five ABs in this kit. Now 90, or sorry, 100 colors is not a small amount of colors 
fully, I fully recognize that. Um, outside the sweet shop that I did for them had 197. Now 100 is obviously less, less than that, but I feel like some of the same approaches could still apply as far as how to organize your diamonds in a way that, um, makes it easier to work on this kit. I, I recommend organizing by color and kind of going in a rainbow order. That makes it for me easier to find the symbols. Um, and Diamond Art Studio UK really does try to go through and as much as possible eliminate any symbols that are too similar to one another. And they've been incredibly receptive when I've worked on kits and been like, hey, I just, I noticed these and just wanted to let you know that they're a little bit similar and I wanted to mention. And they're like, oh, sorry, we missed that. And we'll fix it. And that's something I really have to say is one of the, really great things about Diamond Art Studio UK is that they seem to just have top-notch customer service and are really receptive to feedback and always trying to do things better and come up with uh, new ideas and, and things to do and that's one of the reasons that I keep coming back to and buying from them even with the additional cost of overseas shipping is because I've just been really impressed with the product and impressed with uh, the owners and how they approach doing business. So let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. We do have their branding at the top. There's Diamond Art Studio UK. The canvas material, um, it's like the front feels like kind of a polyester material, but then the back is this short lint or soft lint material. And um, it's like, yeah, pretty soft on the back there. And then we have some scalloping and finishing on the edges. So you shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. They do use poured glue, which typically if a canvas has this clear plastic cover, that means it's gonna have poured glue. Very few companies seem to have double-sided adhesive anymore. Most uh, companies out there now have poured glues. So this is, you know, almost a non-issue anymore. But anyway, really sticky glue. Never had issues with diamonds falling off or the stickiness of the glue. And then there is, on both sides of the canvas, there's a schematic with the thumbnail and the size and the model number. And then your color list. And you will find the same exact thing over at the top right as well. At the bottom left, here's links again to their socials. Again, Facebook I found to be the place where they are really keep like posting the most often. Um, and then there's their website, diamondartstudio.co.uk. Then City Suit Streets in the Snow by Helcorio. Now, this is really important, you guys. Uh, this piece is legally licensed from the artist, hence copyright. Diamond Art Studio UK does legally license all of the artwork in their shop, which means that the artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated for it as well. And so I do really appreciate that about their shop. And I do only support companies that legally license the artwork. It's really important to me because art theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world. Um, the printing looks pretty clear on the canvas here. I've noticed that they do actually, they, they've said before as much, they actually print symbols like this with a light symbol on a dark background. They print it in yellow as opposed to white because that is supposed to be a bit easier on your eyes. I don't have any complaints. <laughs> um there is a good amount of confetti in this one you guys we're talking about 100 colors but at the same time i am seeing bits of kind of like linear color blocking in here so you'll be able to bust out that multi-placer and do do a little bit of color blocking if you like uh or a little bit of yeah multi-placing if you like color blocking is when you have you know a bunch of the same color in a small area like actually if you look here you see that upward pointing arrow there's a good amount of that color together so you can like I said, use a multi-placer or at least have that color in your tray for a little longer. But this is generally going to be a more confetti heavy kit. Confetti is when you have more color changes in a small area and we'll be using more of a single placer and maybe changing out the color in your tray more often. This background color with this symbol, we've got a lot of it. That's a good example of color blocking. I wonder if we'll have a good amount of that color when we go to look at the diamonds too. I love this umbrella and the colors in the umbrella this little figure walking through the snow. So it looks good, you guys. Nothing is standing out to me as any, you know, problematic symbols or anything like that. So I call that a good start. Let me grab, I do, I did grab my measuring tape. Let's just take a quick peek here. 60 by 60 centimeters. Yep, we're at 60 and then you're at, I'm just measuring the drill field, not the whole canvas. 60 again. So I'm going to call that true to size. Not surprising. Um, 
I didn't have any issues with, with kits I've unboxed from them in the past. So uh, let's take a look at the diamonds now. So here's the color spread again. The package itself does have this model number on here. So if you do happen to store the diamonds separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in, it should be pretty easy to match up again later. Let's take a look. These are packaged so perfectly. I'm like, I'm hesitant to pull them out. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out some though, at least, so we can take a look at the drill quality together and I can show you what's looking what's looking like on the bags. I saw number one tucked in there kind of, yeah, it was like kind of on the side, okay. <laughs> so uh, the, the bags themselves, they are resealable, so if you just wanna work out of bags, you absolutely can. I believe these are resin squares and um they have this first number is going to correspond with the number on the legend like in the left hand column oh here's this is easier it's like number four there's number four and then 160 is the dmc code so that number on the right is the dmc code and then the the number at the bottom right is the weight in either ounces or grams so um i will say that i've worked on a few diamond art studio uk kits at this point and the squares are excellent quality. I don't really recall running into any issues with trash drills, like drills that weren't usable for whatever reason. But I will say that these diamonds have been pretty static prone. Um, and a lot of that can be based on climate. Oh my gosh, look at those pastels. <gasps> I love those colors so much. Um, and these do look like they're staticky as well. Um, just at first glance in the bag. Though it seems like, for me at least, for my climate or just for what I'm noticing, is that resin drills, they are better quality, but they also are going to be more... S okay, so sorry about that. Um, uh, resin drills, while they are much better quality in my opinion um, than acrylic, especially when it comes to squares, it seems like what I'm noticing is that companies that uh, have resin drills, those are the ones that seem to be a little bit more static prone. And then for me, if they're in resealable bags they seem to be more static prone but as long as i can as long as they're good quality i just the static is what it is i i'm not gonna like throw a fuss about that honestly um my best recommendation i have a couple actually i've been trying more lately out uh just like lightly blowing into a bag and kind of the humidity in your breath can help combat the static really well and my fallback then is also to just cut up a dryer sheet into small squares and i tuck tuck those into the bags and with uh if the static is bad multiple squares and that tends to just take care of it so those would be my suggestions for static here we've got our five ab's in this kit so we have a couple of shades of yellow and three shades of orange nice so if you aren't sure what ab's are ab stands for aurora borealis these are named after the northern lights and if you take a look there is an iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds that makes them more shiny and sparkly than regular diamonds are. It really catches your eye and draws your eye to the areas that these have been charted. So we have five in this kit. Let's take a look and see if we can find them. So obviously we're looking in areas with yellows and oranges. So I'm guessing there, yeah, there's some of, what symbol is that, 445? Okay, so this kind of slightly brighter yellow AB I see outlining on the top of the umbrella. And I see it in parts of these glows. Are those street lamps in the background maybe? There's a little bit of it sprinkled through here and here. And there's a little bit of it like laced throughout this light over here. And there's also quite a bit of it in this street lamp right here and some over here as well. So that's the brighter yellow. And then the lighter yellow, let's see, it's the letter M. That's actually also in the top of the umbrella. And it's, you know, it's appearing in a lot of the places that the brighter yellow was. It's in this glow spot and here. It's actually over here where the brighter yellow one isn't. There's a good amount of it in this lamp as well and some over in this lamp and just a little bit up here and then there's a bunch of it kind of sprinkled throughout here so those are our two yellow colors we have our three shades of orange let's try to find the darkest one letter f let's see it's all gonna be up here okay i see some of it right here 
And there's some of it over here. There's like an, yeah, there's like an orange color in between the pink and the yellow. There's a lot of that, dark, this is the darkest orange of the three that we have. And then, yeah, there is some up here in the lamp as well, of the darker orange color and over here. Okay. And then the next lighter shade of orange, that particular symbol, there's just a little bit of this one, just a little list bit of this one. Um, let's see, oh, sorry if I just bumped you. I think that one is maybe just up here in this lamp. I may be overlooking some, but I just see it in some parts of this lamp up here. And then our lightest shade of orange, there's actually a handful of it in this lamp over here. And then it's one of the lightest oranges in this lamp and a little bit of it over here. There's some of this light orange right here next to the yellow. So kind of these glowy areas that I feel like you would expect to see ABs. So I really like that AB placement, you guys. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. This looks really gorgeous and it did sell out incredibly quickly upon release. And I, th I think it was just the one release, they had like an in-person thing and then an online. But um, I do know that they are planning to you know, continuously restock these kits because they are incredibly popular. And I think that you guys should definitely keep an eye out for this one. I'm not sure if we'll get to it this winter or if it's going to wait till next winter, but I am really looking forward to to getting to this one at some point. I think it's gonna be really, really pretty if my past experiences with their kits are any indication. I think that the 100 color um, amount is gonna be good for this one. I kind of like that. It's like a really high color count, but it's not like a max color count. It's a nice kind of middle ground between the more standard 50-ish colors that come with most diamond paintings, but not like the extreme that is almost 200 colors that, that a lot of companies, like even like this one will sometimes try. I think that this is gonna be a nice amount of colors for this one. So please take a look below for links to their Facebook page, which like I said, is probably the best place to stay up to date with or restocks and other information. Um, but otherwise, let me know in the comments what you think of this one. Is this one that you picked up or is on your wish list? Have you tried anything else out from this company? Um, I, I definitely suggest you take a look, even if you don't live in the UK. I feel like the, the extra cost of shipping is completely worth it. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this unboxing video was helpful to you. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see and stay up to date with lots more diamond painting content from me. I'd love to have you here, but otherwise I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for taking some time with me to watch this video today. And I hope that you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.